Okay, this is not so fun anymore. I'm a little scared. Last summer, I rode most of the Great Divide mountain bike route from the border of Canada all the way down to southern Colorado. I rode with my good friends John and Mira and Kevin and Dana, had the time of my life, it was so beautiful, but I stopped in southern Colorado because New Mexico had very strict COVID regulations. And now I'm back, nine months later, to finish it off. And it feels so good. Woo! Oh man, this is my place. This is my home. This is where I feel alive. And I'm so glad to be back. This is the exact spot where I ended last summer and my friend Larkin picked me up. And you're probably wondering, well, how'd you get back here, Ryan? This is really far from Boulder. Well, I have really good friends and you know one of them, Dana drove me. Hi Dana, thanks for dropping me off. Hi Ryan, I hate to drive. <laughs> I know, you drove me all the way down to Southern Colorado. I can't thank you enough and I wish you were coming with me, but. I know, I had no idea I'd be so jealous. Yeah, yeah. but you're off to Costa Rica? Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna go to Costa Rica next weekend. I can't wait. All right, well you have fun there and while Thank you're there, you. dream up an adventure yeah. for us this summer. So we get you back on the channel. I'm gonna spend the whole day researching where we're going next. Yes. And good luck. I love you so love much. You. Uh, so she dropped me off just outside of Alamosa and I've been riding for 30 miles uphill to this town called Platoro and it was a lot more of an adventure than I thought it would be. Let's go back in time a little bit. Hey there Ryan, um, it may have been a little ambitious, I'm slipping, to uh, come up here in uh, May because the snow is not gone yet. As you can see, but we're going to make it through it, no problem. Back to you, Ryan. And here I am now. I'm definitely racing the weather. The sky has been threatening all day. It's been raining off and on. The forecast calls for rain all the way through to tomorrow morning. Oh yeah, I have about 700 miles left. I'm gonna cross the border into New Mexico pretty soon and it's gonna be beautiful. They say that this last 700 miles is some of the roughest terrain, which you know, it makes me happy. I like mountain biking and I love the state of New Mexico. I love the food. I love the people. The landscapes is going to turn into desert once I get way down south. I can't wait. It's going to be so awesome. Oh, and I'll show you a few of the updates to my bicycle. Okay, I'm going to do this quick because as you can see, there's already a storm like five feet away. Anyway, so this is the new Priority 600X. Not the prototype that I rode last summer on the Divide. Of course, we've got the pinion and gates drive train. So smooth, so many gears. I've changed the situation in the back. Usually I have a seat pack that comes off the seat post, but I'm using a rear rack this time. And that's mainly so I can use this dropper post. So this post on technical terrain can go shoot and shoot down and I can put it back up. And with the seat pack, you can't really use it. So I have all of my sleeping gear back here but other than that this is pretty much the same setup as last summer oh and i have a new bag right here from my friends at kai venture they made me this awesome bag oh and this too yes this is my new frame bag bolted on my first bolt-on frame bag made custom just for me by my friends at green guru what do you think about that all right time to ride bikes
So it looks dark in all directions. It's dark behind me and there's a storm in front of me. So I don't think I'm gonna escape this one. I'm gonna get wet. <laughs> and I'm up at about 10,000 feet. So this could actually be snow. And I definitely don't have winter clothing with me. <laughs> oh boy, here we go, adventure on day one. And I forgot to mention, this is my very first adventure filmed entirely in 4K. So the picture quality should be better. Let me know what you think. Think if it looks awesome. If you think this rain looks better in 4K, tap the like button. <laughs> Look at this right here. It's like this cloud is following me. Look at that foggy cloud. Hello, my friends. I'm gonna jump in here really quickly. If you love my videos, if they bring value to your life, if they put a smile on your face, please consider joining my Patreon. My Patreon is a way for you, the viewers, to help support my channel and keep things moving forward. And I love that it's community funded rather than some big outside corporations. You'll notice that I don't do very many at all branded content deals. And that's because I don't wanna turn my channel into a giant commercial where I'm constantly selling you stuff, right? What I wanna sell you is excitement to get outside. If you join my Patreon, you'll get early access to videos, videos with no ads, and if you write me a special message, I will send a customized video to your loved one on their birthday or before they do something big and I will psych them up and motivate them. How does that sound? Pretty cool, huh? Again, it's not an obligation. You'll still always be able to watch my videos on YouTube for free, but if you can support the channel, I'd really, really appreciate it. All right, back to the action. So even though it's cold and rainy and maybe snowy, <laughs> I'm psyched to be here. I'd rather be out here in the cold than at home watching Netflix. You know, I've been waiting a long time to hit the road and it's finally happening. And it's okay that mother nature is saying, ha ha, welcome back, Ryan. And yeah, now it's snowing, look. <laughs> It's a Christmas miracle! <laughs> ah, this is what happens here in Colorado in May. It can snow. I haven't filmed for a while because my fingers have been too frozen to push the buttons on my camera, but I'm coming back to life now. Uh, the good news is the uh, snow is gone. The bad news is it's turned into rain and rain is actually worse because it's wetter, it gets everything wet. But I'm still doing just fine. I'm warm, I'm okay. Um, and it's been a really wet spring in Colorado. So everything is so green. So even though I'm kind of chilly out here, it's so fun to just look at all the scenery, it's beautiful. It reminds me of the Pacific Northwest out here, all foggy and spooky and green. I like it, because I know in a few hundred miles, it's gonna be hot desert, and I bet you I'm gonna be wishing for a cold day like this. <laughs> You know what? I am totally out of practice. It's been too long. I forgot something very important. No crashies, no flatties, no whammies. Woo <laughs> okay, all better. This is 
so cool. I just came around the corner and a herd of bighorn sheep just took off running and then they stopped. They stopped just so I could get, get some footage of them. It's so beautiful. You don't see these a lot in Colorado. They're definitely out here, but I've only seen them a handful of times and they're definitely cool looking creatures. So I was riding in the snow, freezing cold. I got to this little town called Horca. In Spanish it should be Orca, I guess. And I was told to talk to Charlie right here. Charlie is one of the elders of the churches. And I asked him if I could camp under the church. And he's like, yeah, you can camp over the church. I got a hundred feet away. He's like, actually, why don't you just stay with me? <laughs> so I really appreciate that. That's very nice You're of you. You're welcome. Yeah. Do you, do you do this often? Yeah. I yeah. mean, I'm sympathetic to mountain bikers. Yeah. I've been on that. Uh, not long, long trips, but uh, I go up the, that rise right there and with my road bike yeah. and come down very curvy and I hit 55 miles an hour Good work. at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, it's so fun. So you're a lover of the bike. Yes. All right, cool. Well, I can't thank you enough. This is really, really special. It's so warm in here. It feels amazing. <laughs> nice to meet you. Amazing. Yeah. Look at this. Thank you so much. Wow. Sure. <sighs> this is pretty cool. You know, this is why I ride my bike, to meet wonderful people like this. And here I am in a warm house. She's gonna feed me lasagna. I get to take a warm shower, and that's awesome after a day of freezing in the snow. <laughs> you know, this is a pretty good day one. Wow, that <laughs> looks so good. <laughs> Thank you so much, you saved the day. Well, I didn't want you sleeping in the cold. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. This, and it just got cold like all of a sudden. Yeah, like real cold. Yeah, because it was really nice yesterday. I know I've already said it like 10 times, but thank you so much for inviting me into your home. This is really special. I love, the, the, my favorite part about riding my bike is meeting people and connecting with people. And uh, it's really wonderful and it warms my heart. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. And this also warms my heart. <laughs> <laughs> so I just looked at the weather for tonight and tomorrow. Are those snowflakes? Oh man, all day long. Oh no, it's rain in the afternoon. So much better. It feels so good to be back on the trail after such a long break. And I'm excited for tomorrow. We'll see what happens. So I'm just waking up and I look out the window. It's not good. <laughs> this is just too much. You know, yesterday was fun riding in the snow. I thought that was gonna be it, but uh, this is the real deal. I will say that I'm so grateful that I did not end up camping out there. I would have been a frozen tamale for sure. I feel bad for those birds. We are looking at the camera at Cumbres Pass, which is where you're oh, supposedly dear. going. Oh no. So that's 10,000 feet elevation? Yeah. And that's the live, live feed. Right. <laughs> so I have a homemade breakfast. It is so tasty and I'm sitting here just watching the birds at the bird feeders. And this is, this is paradise right here. I'm so glad I'm not riding my bike. And I think I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit. The snow is supposed to stop around noon, maybe, we'll see. And then I'll head out into the winter wonderland. Oh, adventures. You never know what you're gonna get and that's what makes them an adventure. So I've made the decision to stay here another day in this family. They're so kind to let me stay with them. So generous, they're amazing. Trail magic already on, on day one. And the reason why I'm staying is because it's the forecast is calling for more snow and more cold and my route is gonna just take me up to 10,000 feet. So it's just gonna be even colder up there and I just don't wanna be miserable all day and then freezing cold in my tent. So I'm gonna wait it out and hopefully tomorrow will bring a little bit of sunshine, maybe, who knows? Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna enjoy this beautiful area. And yes, it is hard to not move. Yesterday was my first day and I'm all hyped up to like ride my bike. I've been waiting months for this moment. But 
sometimes you just gotta chill. And chilling is kind of hard for Ryan. <laughs> Once I get going, I like to keep going. Okay, let's go check the weather. Window check here. Oh, I think it looks better. Oh yes, it's not snowing. And I see sunshine. I'm so happy it's not snowing. Good morning, it's not snowing. Yay. It is great, <laughs> it's not snowing. Oh yes, oh that is perfect food for riding bikes. You really are one of the sweetest people I've met on the road. I can't oh, wow. thank you enough. You've been a blessing to us. I mean, it's been a blast. All right, good. Well, I'm glad. Because sometimes people think I'm a little weird. <laughs> well, that's true, too. <laughs> this blender was a wedding gift to me and Charlie. So it is 42 years old. 42 years old? And still running. No way. Just like us. Yeah, that's a good looking one. Mm-mm. I'm gonna be powered up and over that pass. You're gonna need it. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot thank you enough, my friends. This was absolutely wonderful. And even though it was not a planned 20 or 48 hour stop almost, uh, I can't thank you enough. You're well, welcome, totally yeah. welcome. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've had more fun with this total stranger for all day than anyone like Ryan. Oh, uh, thank you so much. Can we get a hug? Oh, yes. you guys are wonderful. <laughs> and also tell me really quickly about the Red Bear Welcome Center for future cyclists coming through. We have lots of Snickers bars, Cliff bars, drinks. Uh, we have a food trailer there, uh, June, July, and August. And uh, it's we get a lot of people. This is a major intersection for the ride. So uh, yeah. come on in, say hi. It's the Red Bear Welcome Center. And, and you have it, showers too, right? Yeah, we have showers, we have laundry. You cannot miss it. The route goes right by it. So yeah. thank you once again. I will be back. Now we're friends for life. That's how this uh, works. Once okay. I meet you, it's not a one-time deal. I kind of don't want to leave you two. This is just too good. <laughs> Are you filming me while I film you? I am. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. On the road again. And the sun is shining and my heart is full. I say it all the time, but there's a lot of good people out there in this world, and it just it just uh, makes me really happy knowing that people like Libby and Charlie are on this planet, just spreading love and kindness. And you know, they didn't know me, and they invited me into their house like lickety splickety right off the bat. And you know, I talk a lot about how you know I love riding my bike, and I definitely you know the actual act of riding is fun, but these long tours are all about connection connection to people connection to nature and connection to myself and as always my friends sing it along with me no crashies, no flatties, no whammies. What a beautiful day, look at this. I love you, blue skies. Look at this view. Wow. Life on the wild side. It says, Conejos Canyon stretches out before you and remains one of the wildest areas in Colorado. The Conejos River begins 40 miles upstream in the rugged San Juan Mountains, where the last known grizzly bear in Colorado was found. As it ribbons through the landscape, this river corridor and its riparian area provides a home to some of the most diverse species of plants, animals, and birds in the Southwest. This is it. Today feels like the start of the adventure. The first day was like kind of a little half day, you know, getting warmed up. And then yesterday obviously was a bizarre snowstorm. But now today, I feel like it's starting. Oh, 
All right, I made it to the top of La Manga Pass. It's probably the coolest name for any of the passes I've gone over on the Great Divide, La Manga. And this is a very steep pass. I've only ridden five miles, but I've already gained 1,600 feet of altitude. This is gonna be a big day of climbing. I don't know how far I'm gonna get. I'm gonna to try to go to a little town called Vallecitos, about 90 miles away. We'll see. It's been a long time since I've been on my bike and ridden this far. Slippery. Let's see here. Oh boy. I don't know about this. <laughs> Looks like somebody came through here. Wow. The road goes right there. I wonder if it's worth even trying to. Wow. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. <laughs> Let's see if we can get my bike up there. It is very heavy. Oh man. Oh, it's slippery. <laughs> so there's the road. I just need to get past this drift. Wow. Oh, come on, bike. You can do it. Must have been a hiker on the Continental Divide Trail who came through here. I can't imagine anybody else walking through here. Hopefully, we don't have any more snow drifts this big. <laughs> Let's do it. Rum, 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 rum. Oh boy. More fun. It's definitely an adventure. Hopefully, if I go lower, the snow will be melted. That's my hope. Let's try it again. Let's see how far we can get. Okay. Uh, mm. I bet the uh, I bet the riders on this route in July, August would just die for a piece of snow to cool off. It's a little bit muddy today. Oh goody! More snow. Well, I'm certainly not making good time anymore. <laughs> this has really slowed me down, but I just hope that the lower I go, the less snow there is. Otherwise, I'm gonna be crawling all day. More snow, more snow. <laughs> More snow, we got more snow, but that's okay because the sun is shining and I'm outside and that's cool. How'd you like that song? I sing these dumb songs to myself just to keep the spirits up. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? It's all right, I'll look back on this with fond memories. It's all part of the unknowns of adventure. The problem with this route is it keeps on going up, and up means snow. <laughs> I want to go down. It's hard work out here. But it's so quiet and nice. You can hear the birds chirping. Hey look, I'm entering New Mexico. You know what time it is. Oh yeah, New Mexico, New Mexico. Ah, oh, please be warmer, New Mexico. Sorry, that was kind of a weak happy dance, but I'm tired from pushing through snow. Oh yeah, my bike is dirty. Oh yeah, but it likes being dirty, right? Right, Mr. 600X? I was okay with all this 
while the sun was shining, but now it's raining on me. <laughs> and that is not very fun. There's really no place to put up a shelter here because the ground is soaking wet. I would just be freezing. And I'm not looking to camp right now, but I definitely need to get up and over and through this. This is, this is not good. Oh boy, this is a challenge. There's no doubt about it. I really did not expect this, but here we are. Just gotta keep moving forward. Okay. Cause I know it's not snowy. Ooh. Just down maybe a thousand or two feet. Gotta keep on pushing. <laughs> it's never ending. I didn't bring snow boots. So now the snow is like insanely deep. So hard to like even push my bike. Uh, come on. <laughs> Remember Ryan, you chose to do this. This is your idea of fun. <laughs> it's snow for as far as the eye can see. Come on. And I've just been pushing and just not going fast and my feet are soaking wet and freezing cold. I thought that I might be able to see the end of snow, but uh-uh, not right now. <laughs> Come on, buddy. No more snow. Ugh. This is absolutely demoralizing. I've been pushing for hours. When I first hit the snow this morning, I was like, oh, this is fun, it's an adventure. I really, truly thought I'd be out of it quickly and heading down in dry roads, but I've been pushing my bike ever since. And it's so hard to yank this big bike through these snow drifts. And now I can hear thunder off in the distance. <laughs> I can't even move my bike. <sighs> Get me out of here. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> Come on, you got it. Come on, Ryan. <sighs> okay. This is not so fun anymore. I'm a little scared. 